top secrets guide finally on the last simulator in chapter 17 after this we can crack on with the rest of the chapter if anyone wants to be following my full platinum guide so top secrets this one will take you a bit of practice it's this isn't a guide i don't think any guide you can actually watch and do this first time unless you're really good or you get lucky because there is a little bit of chance involved here and the fight is so fast and you can't really afford many mistakes which is why you need a bit of practice but i'll show you my setup guys i'll show you my build first cloud tifa and error for use so cloud's got a mithril saber force bracelet and the fury ring now he's got a bit of space there so you can lob anything else on there if you want to i've got fire materia with clouds We've got lightning materia. A lot of builds on other guys that do like to use ice. It does increase the stagger a little bit more, but I don't think you need to use it unless you just want a bit of extra stagger damage. But you don't really need to use it. I get it done here without it. We've got first strike here. That's obviously a must have with some of your party members. We've got a steadfast block. That's a sort of must have as well. Behemoth, I've got that on the cloud of summoning material. Your summoning material does add a little tiny bit of stats, so you do want to try and get the same ones that I have. I've got one magic up on cloud. I did use to put both on Erif, and I've got um, two MP ups on cloud as well. Yeah, I did use to put both magic ups on Erif, but the thing is, sometimes if you go over that 999 cap, you're not going to do any more damage, so I, I put them on cloud and Erif. So I just think you get a little bit of more damage if you do it that way. Tifa, she's got Metal Knuckles, Chain Bangle and Fury Ring. We're mainly using Tifa as our sort of ATB creator. She's got ATB Assist. She is such a god with ATB Assist on. And you use Focus Strike. Right? You'll see once we get the build going and the boss fight. But it's such a beast she is on that. She's got ATB Stagger. You don't really need that. That's why I'm taking that off. But it just... When you sag an enemy, it just might help you get a little bit more. Got parry there as well with parry with Tifa. Sorry, that's a must as well with Tifa because she moves so quick when you block and press circle. And steadfast block, of course, always have that on on hard mode. Really, it's got a fat chug bow, summoning materia. Yeah, steadfast block when you're not controlling them, they're blocking. Obviously, they take a lot less damage and it'll help them build some ATB as well. She's got mithril rod, geometric bracelet, and the fury ring, Aerith. And as you can see, she's got some free slots as well. She's want to lob anything else on her. We don't summon Ifrit on this. We get rid of Behemoth before Ifrit spawns. But if you are worried, you could lob Elemental connected to Fire on Tifa on her armor if you wanted to on her ring. Just so if he does spawn you, you're immune to his attacks. She's got two MP ups there, Erif. She's got Steadfast Block as well. She's got one Magic up. Like I say, Cloud's got the other one. She's got Chocobo and Moogle in her summoning materia. She's got First Strike. And she also has Fire materia. And she's got Lightning connected to MP Absorb. We get through a lot of MP on this one, especially Erif. I just like to love that MP Absorb on there just so she gets a bit of MP back. It's not a lot, but it will help you get another cast or two off on that. We still have a bit more. It's not like we need that, I don't think, anyway. But it's just nice to have it there for support, just in case. So at least what I've got on my weapon upgrades, you can see here. And when it comes to actual weapon manuscripts I have, I've not got every single one in the game. I've just got most of them up to Chapter 17. I think Chapter 14, is it Chapter 14 where you have all the side quests? I didn't do them all there. So I've not got all the manuscripts in chapter 14 and I've not got them all in chapter 10 either. But other than that, I've got most of the manuscripts up to chapter 17. And like I say, this is what I've got. I never bother really with that last connected material slot on the weapon node just because you never really use it for anything. This is what Tifa's got on her metal knuckles. The reason Tifa's got her, her sort of strength weapon and the other two have got the magic it's because Cloud and Erif are going to be your main magic dealers here. Erif obviously does the most magic damage in the game. Cloud is a second to Erif. And Tifa's pretty bad next to Barrett. So Tifa's mainly doing... She doesn't really do any magic attacks here. She's mainly just does strength attacks. Mainly strength attacks. 
and that's why we've got summoning material on her which only increases strength on Aerith the summoning material only increases magic but we've got Behemoth on Cloud I think it's Behemoth because he increases strength and magic because Cloud will be doing a little bit of both mainly magic but he will be doing a little bit of both you'll see as we get going obviously we've got that's the last of Tifa and finally guys onto your Aerith and then we'll get going yeah it takes it's taken me a few minutes just to explain it all to you the build but it's very important you've got a similar setup to this Obviously, when it comes to the weapons, I'm mainly getting attack power and magic attack power and anything sort of around MP, HP and will increase sort of MP damage, anything like that really. I don't heal on this. I do not heal. Obviously, you've got plenty of slots for healing. If you do want to heal, I recommend Aerith really. If you use prayer, well, any, any healing, it... It works off your magic attack. I think it was your magic attack. It has a higher magic attack on your party member. The most they will heal. The more they will heal. So if you love prayer on Aerith. She'll heal everybody. Without having to use magnify. Without using MP. And it can. If you've got use on Aerith. She'll heal for just over four, about 4,000. So she still heals for quite a lot. Yeah it does use 280Bs. That's the best thing about it. So here we go. So first of all guys, Tifa, you want to make Tifa as number one because number one is always the person you start with. Yeah, your leader doesn't really matter, the leader you got in the party menu, it's whoever you choose as number one. Right, so first of all, we need to quickly press R2, get to Aerith's menu straight away and she's going to cast Faraga level three. So straight away, Aerith, press R3 to lock on Shiva and Faraga level three. Do the same with Cloud, straight after Aerith go into cloud and do a Fraga level 3 with cloud as well so Aerith cloud Fraga level 3 straight after skate over to Shiva and as soon as that first fire lands start pressing square as soon as you get an, uh, your first ATB with Tifa use a focus strike straight after it lands press square twice and then focus strike again you have to do it like that in order to trigger the ATB assist if you don't press square twice after a focus strike it will not trigger that A to B assist guys. So focus strike, square twice, focus strike. And as soon as Cloud gets an A to B, an a to B gauge, he does a focus thrust. Then Tifa does a few more square attacks and that should stagger her. Once she's staggered, Aerith, fire, level two. She should have an A to B gauge at that point. So straight after she staggered, Aerith, fire, level two. And then with Tifa, continue building up two A to B gauges. As soon as you get two A to B gauges, true strike times two true strike times two so that'll increase the stagger quite a lot stagger percent and it'll also give some a to b to your allies once you've done that make cloud do fire fire level two and make Aerith do sorcerer storm and that's basically it ko after you've done them back to tifa and just keep pressing triangle and that's it yeah ko so she goes down pretty quickly guys nice sort of um introduction to what we've got in store it could just get worse so chocobo similar to what we've just done with well sort of similar but first of all straight away lock on erif she's going to cast arcane ward on cloud arcane ward on cloud cloud straight after he's going to class cast fire level three so fire level three cloud's going to cast Straight after, Tifa's going to skate over and keep spamming the square until you get one ATB gauge and then she's going to do focus strike, square twice and then focus strike again. So focus strike, square twice and then focus strike. That should give ATB to your allies. So straight after you've given ATB to them. So focus strike again, yeah. We're going to switch to Aerith, go into the Arcane Ward and cast Thunder, level 3. The reason she's casting Thunder level 3 is because remember she's got MP Absorb connected to it and just help her save a bit of MP. Straight after Aerith's cast that, turn to Cloud, have him move over to the Arcane World quickly and have him cast Fire level level 3. And then straight after casting them, over to Tifa guys and she's going to keep pressing square now. Chocobo will stagger and we're going to keep pressing square until Tifa's got two ATB gauges. Once she's got them, it's going to be true strike times two. This is always the case when the enemy is staggered on this top secrets. Well, almost any all the time with Tifa. True strike times two with Tifa. 
that should give a bit of ADB to Cloud and Erif. Once Cloud's got ADB, he's going to use Braver on Chocobo. Leave Erif for the time being. And then back to Tifa, keep pressing Triangle till she gets two full ATB gauges again. And this is going to do True Strike times two again. Once she gets two full ATB gauges. And as soon as Erif's got two full ATB gauges, guys, she's going to use Rays of Judgment. Cloud's going to use Braver once she gets one. And then we'll be back to Tifa, Triangle again. I'll just keep doing that, basically. Erif, Rays of Judgment, Cloud, Braver. Tifa triangle, and then whenever Tifa gets two four ATB gauges, true strike, just keep doing that. So I'm back as Tifa now. Cloud turns braver first, so triangle with Tifa, keep pressing triangle. And as soon as she gets two four ATB, true strike again. And that should be Chocobo, KO, total knockout. There we go. That's Chocobo out of the picture, out of the fight. Two down, three to go. Well, potentially four, but it should be three following this. So, got to be really quick here. And this one's a little bit random, guys. The attack she does first are a little bit random. So, first of all, Aerith, Thunder, level three on the Dorsal Fin. Make sure you lock on onto the Dorsal Fin. So, first of all, Aerith, level three on the Dorsal Fin, Thunder. And same with Cloud, Thunder, level three on the Dorsal Fin. Straight away, skate over to the far side, like this is Tifa. And then start press a square on the dorsal fin. And the focus strike, we want to basically get two focus strikes off. So it triggers A to B assist. Triggers A to B assist. And you can see the attack she's doing now. Gia Sperm. <laughs> That's a funny name that I called it. And this is her attack. So basically, then first four, ignore the bottom four. It's the first four you need to watch out for. Bellow is a laser. Barrage, it locks onto you quite well. Jarvis Burn, what she's going to do now. And Tail Whip, she normally whips the tail and dives into the ground. Jarvis Burn's basically, basically like a little explosion. She does next where you need to get away. So if you just dash straight up to the wall next to her to begin with, most she'll either do Bellow or Barrage to begin with, and they will miss. Be straight over here, square a few times, build up A to B. Get Focus Thrust, square a few times again. Then another Focus Thrust to build up that A to B assist and give some A to B assist to your allies. Straight after you get away, Thunder level 3 is Aerith again, and Thunder level 3 is Cloud again on the dorsal fin. It's very important you lock onto that dorsal fin, guys. Once they're starting to cast them, move back and start doing focus strikes again now with Aerith, Aerith, uh, sorry, Tifa. Tifa, just keep doing these. Remember, focus strike, square twice, focus strike. Just keep doing these now until she is staggered. And at that point, you should have gave four ATB gauges to your allies as well. So once you're staggered, straight away, you're gonna cast Thunder level three with Cloud and Aerith. And in the, in the meantime, you're gonna be using, true, you're gonna build up two ATB with Tifa by using uh, Triangle, and then you're gonna use True Strike times two as Tifa. So remember, keep locked onto that dorsal fin. So we've cast Thunder level three as Cloud, Thunder level three as Aerith. Then we're using Tifa to build up ATB to two. Then we're going to use True Strike times two. And then we're going to cast Thunder level three and Thunder level three with Cloud and Aerith again. I remember it's very important you do this because Leviathan does not stay staggered for very long. So you've got to be very, very fast. And the great thing, you attack the dorsal fin. It's a lot of time. It hits twice. I don't know why you see that it hit twice. I think it hits the dorsal fin and its tail. Or it manages to get the dorsal fin and its head at the same time. That's why it's very important you lock onto the dorsal fin. Now this one, everyone, it sort of blocks everybody. Right, now to begin guys, we're going to lob Arcane Ward on Cloud. So Erif, lob Arcane Ward on Cloud. Obviously be as quick as you can with this. We don't get, let Behemoth get a chance to do anything. So Arcane Ward on Cloud. And straight away, Cloud's going to cast Fire, level 3. Obviously because he's in Arcane Ward, he will cast it twice. But it, the second one does have reduced damage. Straight after that, switch to Tifa, dash away. And once you get a good distance away, switch to Aerith. Build up ATB quickly and then cast Thunder level 3 in the Arcane Ward. We're also going to cast Thunder with Aerith so we save a bit of MP. Then straight after you cast it, switch over to Cloud. Build up ATB quickly for a few attacks. Then back to the Arcane Ward and cast Fire level 3. Straight after that, back to Aerith. 
and Eris is going to build up an ATB again quickly. With the time, with the um, pace we're going out lobbing these, it should keep us sort of stunlocked. And Eris going to lob, yeah, Thunder level 3. She wants to lob really. I did lob a file there, but you really want to lob a Thunder level 3. And then straight after that, switch over to Tifa and start using Square and doing Focus Strikes. We want to start building up ATB now for our teammates. Behemoth will be stunned now, as you can see. So Aerith, well not stunned, while pressured. Same thing. So Tifa is just going to keep pressing Focus Strike, Square, twice. Focus Strike, Square, twice. Focus Strike. And then once he gets up, just make sure you've got ATB on Tifa as well. And get away quickly. Get your teammates away. And then make sure you end up as Aerith. Then it's Aerith, get into this arcane ward. And as soon as you see that Umbro, oh, I was a little bit late here, but I still got it on time. As soon as that Umbro aura appears, you want to be in this arcane ward, ready to cast Thunder level 3. Then as soon as you cast that, get Cloud over to the arcane ward, cast Fire level 3. And once you've got him casting it, you're going to use Tifa. She's going to do double star, double star shower, double star shower on Behemoth. Then it's going to be back to Aerith. She's going to cast Thunder level 3. So double star shower as Aerith, uh, Tifa, sorry. You may have to, you cannot cast the second one straight away. You may have to take control of Tifa again to cast it. And then, like I said, it's Aerith, her Thunder level 3. You should really turn over to Aerith so you can make sure she's still in the Arcane Ward. And then you want Cloud to do his Thunder level 3 as well. Obviously, make sure Tifa does some two star showers back to back so you build up A to B. And then back to Aerith, quickly build up another ATB gauge, have her lock at Thunder level 3. And that should be, he should be dead after that. Should be dead after that. You can keep going. After she casts that, switch to Cloud, have him build up another ATB just in case. Back over to the Arcane Ward, have him lob a fire level 3. He should have been dead at this point. He should have been dead. Have him lob at fire level 3. There we go. And. That should be it. Yeah, you can keep, you can switch to Tifa and keep attacking here if you want. Now the thing is with the Humit, we did keep him stun locked there. If you do not keep him stun locked, he will summon Ifrit, and he'll summon as soon as his HP hits 50%, he will try and summon him. As soon as you get a chance, he will summon him. So what we did there, we kept him stun locked basically. Now as soon as you get to Pride and Joy, it's Tifa quickly dash around to the back room. He will track you, so make sure you get around the back. Once you get around the back and he starts doing the beam cannon, let Aerith do an arcane ward on Cloud, and then Cloud's going to do Thunder level 3 on Pride and Joy, which should stun him, knock him down for a second, and it should make his legs targetable. So uh, Aerith arcane ward on Cloud, and then Cloud Thunder level 3. While he's casting that, we're going to do Focus Strike twice with Tifa. Remember to press square twice in the middle in order to build ADB for allies and then once she's done that we're going to get like a little uh, a little rhythm going here now and it'll keep him stun locked it'll always be Tifa focus strike times two then it'll be Aerith thunder level two two on the left leg and then cloud thunder level two on the left leg and just keep doing that same thing make sure you're always in the arcane ward so cloud doing his Thunder level 2 on the left leg. I can see they're in the Arcane Ward from here. And then Erif's going to do Thunder level 2 as well. I've already done it. And then it's back to Tifa quickly. Remember, Focus Strike twice. And make sure you press Square in the middle. And then back to your teammates. Have them cast Thunder level 2 on the same leg again. That's it. So this is all it's going to be now, guys. It will be a rhythm of... Tifa, focus strike, square, square, focus strike. One of your other teammates, thunder level 2 in the arcane ward. And then the other teammates, thunder level 2 in the arcane ward. Back to Tifa and just keep doing that. Once you do switch to your teammates to do a thunder, if they haven't quite got ATB, quickly build it up with them. Switch to the other one, quickly build it up with them if you need to as well. Because it will get to a point where Tifa's... A to B assist doesn't quite give him enough A to B to fill a full gauge just because it'll start getting a bit too low. And just keep doing that guys. Always attack the same leg. Make sure you're locked onto that same leg. Very important. 
just keep attacking that same leg. Basically, your attacks, your thunder attacks, will always destroy that leg. It will knock him down. It will give Tifa a chance to do them. Focus strikes, that, just that small window to trigger A to B assist in order to keep that rhythm going off on thunder level 2 in the arcane ward. So that's it guys, you just keep doing that and that will keep him down. Yeah, with um, Behemoth, if you're finding it difficult to to actually keep him stunned and you find Ifrit is being summoned and you just can't really do much about it what you can do with we have got us we have got them spare slots on Tifa you could lob a elemental connected fire in her on her bracelet and then you can quickly attack him Behumet even if you just manage to summon Behumet you should be able to get him you should be able to kill him in time Behumet anyway and if it would just be a bit of a problem if you've got elemental fire on one of your party members then they will absorb all of Ifrit's attacks and as long as you stay as them Ifrit will only damage them and it should be fairly easy guys yes but that's it that's how to get rid of them all pretty straightforward yes it would it will take a bit of practice that will guys but it, I can do that almost every time that always works Leviathan can be a little bit tricky like I say her attacks to begin with are a little bit random she always starts with either Bellow or Barrage and then after that she normally does that um, uh, Gaius Boom or the uh, Tail Whip. But yeah, that's basically it guys, my top secrets guide. I hope it helps. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.